Hi, my name is Gordon, and I'm a functional consultant on the Dynamics 365 Business Central team here at Encore Business Solutions. In this video, I'd like to show you how to filter through lists in Dynamics 365 Business Central. This is important because if we have a list filled with data, we would like to be able to sort through the data as we need. First, I'll navigate to a page containing a list so that I have values to filter off of. For this example, I'll navigate to the general ledger entries. All right, so here on my page, we can filter on really any of these fields and more. So we'll navigate to the action bar and click on this little funnel here to open up our filter pane. From here, we can be, we can be able to uh, begin adding our filters. Some filters will require some selections, for example, document type. If I select document type, I get a drop down menu where I can select something like payment and invoice. Now that I've checked those two off, my list only contains payments. And if I scroll down a little bit, invoices. We can also use certain operators for mass filtering through numbers and text. For example, I'll filter on document number. Say we wanted to find all of our entries starting with just PS. Well, I can put PS dash and hit enter, and you'll notice we get no results. The first reason is because filters are actually case sensitive. So to bypass that, use the at symbol. And this operator will indicate that it's no longer case sensitive. You'll notice that there's still no results. And the reason for that is because it's searching for the exact string here, PS dash. We can use this star operator and press enter and that indicates and that indicates that my document number begins with the string ps dash now we can filter on a number field something like the amount If we wanted to filter the amount, we could use operators as well. For example, if we wanted any invoice or payment greater than or equal to 1000, and I'll hit enter, you'll notice now all my amounts are greater than 1000. Please note that we can also filter on multiple values, and that's by using this little vertical line operator. So if you've noted this vertical line here, that indicates or. So this is indicating the document type is a payment or an invoice. So if we wanted the amounts to be greater than or equal to 1000 or less than 100, I could press enter there. And it'll also indicate any amounts that are less than 100. Afterwards, we can save this filter as a view by pressing the Save button right here. We can give it a name. So I'll just name mine View. Press Enter. Now that it's saved, next time we're on this page, we can easily select the view to apply the same filters and we can toggle between all and our specific view. This concludes how to filter lists in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions.